In this video, I will try to recharge the EcoFlow River 2, which has 233 watt per hour using 200 watt solar panel. So we're gonna charge the unit from 0% to 100%. Also, I'm gonna give you some important tips using the solar panel if you are new to the solar panel and how you use them. So I'm gonna give you very important tips, so make sure to watch this video because we're gonna see how long it's gonna take to fully charge. Also, I'm gonna show you the right way to position the solar solar panel where you can get the best charging speed for your power station so make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and without any further ado let's find out <music> Now just before we start, I don't know if you guys can see the EcoFlow at 0% So I drain the battery completely and we're gonna start fresh Now as you guys can see today we have a sunny day here in Florida The temperature is not too high right now. I'm recording in the morning now the time around 10 30 so the earlier the better so that way you make sure you utilize the sun so you make sure the area where you want to place the solar panel has to be sunny and exposed to the sun so that way you get the best speed to recharge the power station and now as you guys can see we have unfolded the solar panel this is foldable solar panel by the way make sure to be flat as possible so that way you can utilize all the cells in your solar panel in addition to this also you guys have to look to the Sun so I find the right spot where the Sun is and the solar panel has to be cross from the Sun now one of the most important things that you need to hold the solar panel as you guys can see we have a stand but if the day is windy and the wind will blow the solar panel and you're gonna end it up flying somewhere and you may also damage the solar panel so I have to put some weight by adding some cans over there now if you have dambles will work the same but just make sure it has some weight to it because like my solar panel in the beginning got scratched up and I also want to show you because I was not paying attention to this from here as you guys can see I don't know if the camera will catch this up I got it scratched up and luckily for me the solar panel still works that's something I just want to pay your attention to so when you place your solar panel make sure you put some weight because you don't want your solar panel go somewhere else and fly in the sky also one of the important thing before you start recharging the unit that you need to hide the power station somewhere so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hide the power station over here in case if we have rain something it doesn't affect my unit now the panel by itself it's ip rated it's waterproof but the charger or the power station itself is not waterproof and you have to make sure to keep it away from the rain and the water now also before you purchase the solar panel make sure it's compatible with your power station because this for example it will charge certain types of chargers such as the EcoFlow brands and believe this if you want to recharge your uh, car battery anyways this is what we need for the EcoFlow so also you have to bring your EcoFlow and just snap this in by doing this and if the solar panel position on the right place you should be able to see your unit start charging I'm getting speed of 110 as you guys can see now this unit I believe doesn't take more than 120 uh, watts per hour but the other eco units if you go with the Delta it will take the whole 200 units now it says over here is gonna take up to two hours which is impressive in my opinion but anyways we're gonna let the unit recharge and we're gonna come back and check on it and check the speed and everything now if you don't want to keep going outside look to the speed and make sure everything's going okay EcoFlow has application and as you guys can see it's charging with 109 watt per hour which is nice in my opinion that means it's gonna take two hours and 20 minutes I will find out if the speed kick but I doubt that because the EcoFlow doesn't take higher speed but we will find out how that will work and we're gonna come back and check on it now after almost two hour and a half let me check uh, how much juice we have 
it says here 94 percent and around seven minutes left to fully charge the current speed or the current watt for charging it will be 109 i was able to get 111 and 110 most of the time that because this unit doesn't take more than 120 watt to recharge and also if i check my phone it will show the same information so here we go so this everything on my phone it shows six minutes to fully charge and the current speed 109 as i said now what we learned from this the ecoflow river 2 took me about two hours and a half to be fully charged it would be a little bit more a little bit less based on the sun condition in the time you recharge the power unit now also guys before you buy the solar panel make sure to read the specification for your power supply that because you don't want to spend extra money since the solar panel there are so expensive I was able to get mine for $185 range I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys are interested but if you're buying the Delta 2 the Delta 2 would take up to 600 watt even with 200 watt it won't be enough to quickly charge your power station but doesn't mean you can't use 200 watt because you can also connect more solar panel to the same unit and get the fastest speed remember the solar panel are so expensive so before you purchase yours read the specification and make sure you're doing the right thing so that way you save money instead of wasting energy recharging unit that doesn't require that much of what from the solar panel i hope you guys find this video helpful if it did thumbs up subscribe for more here in variety stick thank you so much everyone for watching as always we will talk to you in another video let's go yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look good